Now, as new leader Raila Odinga has threatened mass action following President William Ruto's sustained attacks on the judiciary, speaking during the burial of your ODM Migori chairman Philip Makabongo, Raila waded into the issue, insisting Ruto was intimidating the judiciary. The opposition leader told Monas that Ruto's sustained attacks threatened the 2010 promulgated constitution and the independence of the judiciary. To protect the independence of the institution, Raila threatened to lead a march into the Nairobi Business District CBD to protest the onslaught against judges and magistrates. He said this in a quote, you can see the orchestrated campaigns to intimidate and blackmail the courts. We want to tell the judges and the magistrates not to be cowed. We together with the millions of Kenyans are behind you and we will defend you. If it will take a one million man march into Nairobi, we will do it in defense of the constitution and the judiciary. And of course, his sentiments come after the head of state vowed to soldier on with his plans to reform the judiciary. He accused some judicial officers of sabotaging his development agendas, including their affordable housing schemes and social health plan. Responding to Ruto's claims, Chief Justice Mother Kaome dared him to table evidence supporting his claims. She said this in a quote, We are ready to process any complaint against any judge or judicial officer who is implicated in corruption or any other act of misconduct. However, such complaints must be lodged and processed in the manner prescribed by the Constitution. Days are gone when officers were hounded out of office through name calling. And of course, beside the attacks on the judiciary, Raila Odinga accused Ruto of capturing the legislature. The opposition chief believes Kenya Kwanzaa has compromised MPs to pass laws aimed at dragging the country back to the era of dictatorship. He further reprimanded the Kenya Kwanzaa administration for failing to address the cost of living while vowing to give direction to his followers. This is a Cuba news.